Collins Street lies at the heart of Melbourne's grid pattern of streets. The street is home to much of what is colloquially known as Marvellous Melbourne. It is notable as Melbourne's best known street and is often regarded as Australia's premier street with some of the country's finest Victorian era buildings. The Melbourne Club was established in 1838. Entry is by invitation only. Here you'll find the who's who of Australian politics and business. The Paris end, this eastern end, is a part of the marvellous Melbourne mythology with its European flavour of designer boutiques and cafes. Melbourne's many tram superstops help the tram system achieve much better travel times. This elegant boulevard is lined with grand heritage buildings built on the riches of the Victorian 19th century gold rush. After the discovery of gold, activity in Collins Street grew even more intense. Collins Street is Melbourne's most fashionable street and contains much of the city's most interesting commercial architecture. Most of the city's clubs would also locate here, along with several of Melbourne's most splendid churches. The 1880s and 1890s saw the street at the height of its splendour, full of fantastic buildings, beautiful shops, ladies wearing the latest fashions, artists and musicians creating a cultural life unseen elsewhere, and of course plenty of money being made in the banks and at the stock exchange. Majestic and tree-lined, Collins Street is renowned for its style and glamour. Chic designer shopping, five-star hotels, exclusive jewellers, makers of fine chocolate and private clubs. Shopping on leafy Collins Street means shopping for international labels.
Between 2003 and 2005, Collins Street was extended even further west beyond Spencer Street. It currently ends in the Docklands area and will eventually extend further west as future development takes place. <laughs>